Let's look, Ev. It sure did. Just a few spots with a few leftover sprinkles, but for the most part, we're done. We didn't see quite as much rain as we initially expected. It wasn't quite as heavy, but we did see some. So it did rain earlier today. We're going to have those rain totals for you. Pretty windy as well. We've got some peak wind gusts for you as well. Taking a look from Mount Wilson tonight, we're looking at a little bit of night sky mixed in with cloud cover, mixed in with just a few leftover raindrops, but very isolated right now. Looks like over Long Beach, Palos Verdes, we're starting to get just a little bit of rain there. All of this rain sitting offshore, eventually making its way to Southern California. What's happened earlier, though, we saw a lot of that rain sitting offshore, and it really just didn't make it here. It pretty much evaporated before it hit land. So that was the case earlier today. Right now, it's just dealing with again a few drops here and there. Nothing major. A few snow flurries as well. Also, nothing major. A little bit of rain snow mix indicated by the pink on your screen, the white indicating just a few flurries. And you'll see right here again just a bit of rain. So not everybody getting rain. Looks like we're pretty dry through the basin, but along the coast, we're starting to get just a few raindrops. Nothing heavy, nothing major. And again, earlier today, we did see a few drops. We're going to tell you exactly how much we got. Nothing too impressive. Wind advisory still in effect. The light blue highlighting on your screen showing you that through the LA County mountains and a high surf advisory also in effect for the LA County coastline and the Orange County coastline as well. More on that and what we can expect over the next few days. Big changes on the way. That's all in just a little bit. Lena and Sylvia, back to you. All right. Kind of rude, sort of that, Evelyn. <laughs> it was rude. Yeah. Just ignored us. Yes. <laughs> Not completely, though. Gave us some love. So we did see a little bit of rain out there. In fact, there's still that chance headed our way as we head to the overnight hours. The storm continues to move east and out of here. Well, we could see a little bit of moisture just west of our local mountains right there. So we're looking at that chance in the valleys into the overnight hours. We're not ruling it out. Won't be anything heavy, but again, we're just looking at the sort of continuation of scattered showers, maybe a little more widespread overnight. Maybe even spots like the Antelope Valley getting hit. Take a look right here. The pier is wet, so there was some rain out there again, just not as much as what we originally thought we were going to get. The storm track veered to the west and stayed offshore. So a lot of that rain missed us, but a little bit of it coming in. We're seeing just a few drops here and there. We did see a few hundredths of an inch, so we're going to count the totals up for you in just a little bit. And we are looking at a little bit of rain snow mix as well right there over the mountains. So we're it's not a total loss. Still looking at again a few drops. We're going to show you how much we got. We're going to tell you what could happen overnight, potentially rain wise and We'll show you right here as we take you to the coast. We're talking 70s for the next couple of days, so things clearing out of here. And then by Thursday and Friday, much warmer. And by the weekend, still pretty mild temperatures into the 60s with cooler conditions. We're going to show you what it looks like all across the Southland as we head into the next few days. And we're going to run that future cast for you in a little bit. And I will tell you, maybe a chance of a few leftover overnight showers. Lena, Sylvia, okay. I sure do. So we're going to have more on the rain and the snow and of course your forecast for the rest of the week. That's coming up next as well. Any of the resorts up yeah. there, they will say we need more. <laughs> Probably yes. wasn't even sticking, right? Yes. It wasn't sticking. Yeah. We did see a little bit of it. So uh, there's some spots where we did actually see a few, a little bit, a little bit. I mean, not even a few inches. I wish I could say a few inches, but that oh, wasn't too the case. Bad. Oh, well. Yeah, but you know what? There's still a chance that we could see some snow into the overnight hours. Oh, okay. We could see a few showers as well. So the forecast wasn't totally off. I have to beg to differ that, yes, we did get the rain, but that forecast track indeed was a little too far west. So it was sitting offshore for the majority of the day. So that's why it really just clipped us as we really went through the afternoon and even through the evening here. Again, we're not out of the woods yet in the way of rain. The storm is moving east and we could see a few steady showers. In fact, we're tracking a few showers uh, over Long Beach, Torrance, PV right there. And as we head into the overnight hours, we could stand to get a few flurries into the uh, local mountains. Again, nothing major, but maybe a few flurries and maybe a few showers. We're eyeing spots like the Antelope Valley even into the overnight hours right there. So take a look at radar. You're going to see a little bit of rain. Not all of this is making its way down to the ground, but we are looking at just a few drops in a few spots. It's just a few flurries as well. The white on your screen indicating snow, the pink on your screen indicating a mix of rain and snow. So that's what's happening right there over the 18. So you'll see a closer look of what we're dealing with along the coast right there. Again, not everything making its way down to the ground. We did see a very dry layer closer to the ground, sort of evaporated a lot of the rain, still doing so in a lot of spots, but still again, bracing for showers. Looks like we could see a little cell come over torrents pretty soon here. Other than that, we're looking at a few advisories, still a wind advisory, a high surf advisory in effect, and you're going to see you're going to see looking at a pretty calm conditions 
win wise right now. They're in the single digits earlier today, though we did see very windy conditions. You'll see right here 29 mile an hour wind gusts at Leo Korea Whittier Hills at 27 miles an hour. Also 27 miles an hour at Whitaker Peak earlier today. Downtown only about a hundredth of an inch of rain, two hundredths of an inch for Lancaster Redondo, six hundredths of an inch got up to a tenth for Sandberg and Burbank only at about a hundredth of an inch of rain. So really nothing major in the way of rain. You're going to see temperature wise. We were below average earlier today. Over the next 24 hours, we're getting into the 70s. We're expecting partly cloudy conditions and again, not ruling out the chance of a shower into the overnight hours. 60s and 70s for you as we head into tomorrow afternoon. And again, as we mentioned, a few leftover showers. You're going to see that on your weather headlines. Some snow flurries. That's certainly a possibility. Again, pretty minor, but breezy to windy conditions still persisting to tomorrow. Remember, we do have that high surf advisory and a pretty significant warm up on the way. Expecting much more sunshine. Take a look at your five day forecast for the valleys in the Inland Empire. We're looking at well, partly cloudy conditions, then more sunshine by Thursday and Friday. Some clouds by Saturday, but still mild. And one more five day forecast for you. That same pattern. We're clearing out, warming up, drying out, and then by Saturday and Sunday, still quite mild. Lena and Sylvia, back to you.